Garuda Linux. Everyone's been talking about this Linux distribution for the past year, so I decided to make a video on it for people who either want to get into Linux or just want to find some information on this specific distribution. So this is Garuda Linux in 7 minutes. Let's start from understanding what Garuda Linux is. It's an Arch-based Linux distribution oriented on gamers and Arch users who want to have a bit of a stabler system than Arch itself. Garuda was made and is maintained by a team of students from different countries and comes in a variety of different desktop environments such as KDE, XFCE, GNOME, LXQT Quinn, Wayfire, Qlite, BSP Window Manager, Ice3 Window Manager and Sway. There's also a bare bones edition if you don't want any bloatware on your system. Hey, before we continue with the video, I want to play a little game with you. Press that like and subscribe button right now, and if you don't find this video useful by the end of it, you can always unsubscribe, remove the like, and even take one back. Enjoy the video. Now about the system itself, Garuda is one of those heavier distributions coming out at approximately 1200 packages on the first boot and 1600 if you choose the gaming edition, which is a lot compared to Manjaro that only has 600 for example. However, those packages are put into a good use here. See, Garuda uses BTRFS file system along with the timeshift integration, which makes it safer and easier to backup and recover your system and you can even boot into snapshots directly from Grub, which is very comfortable. Garuda also follows a principle of unused RAM is wasted RAM, but don't worry, since it still uses less RAM than some other familiar operating system, while being much more responsive and fast. This is all done thanks to ZRAM, which compresses programs that take a lot of RAM, and Nohang Daemon, which kills unnecessary heavy processes constantly. A lot of the optimization is better due to using the Linux Zen kernel, which gives more responsiveness than the default Arch one. Also Garuda uses something called Chaotic AUR, with already pre-compiled binaries for you to install from the AUR, or Arch user repository. With all of that and an easy Calamaris installer, which is also on Manjaro and other popular distributions, Garuda Linux seems like a great distribution. But what exactly do you get as a user? So the first thing you see when you boot into your system for the first time is something called Garuda Welcome. And I got to say, Garuda Welcome is a great learning resource for beginners and even experienced users as it introduces you to Arch's terminal commands and Garuda's full potential. It also shows you things like Garuda Settings Manager, Garuda Assistant and Garuda Gamer. And the fact that these are all graphical interfaces makes it easy to use Garuda even for absolute beginners. For the terminal, by default there is a fish shell enabled, but you can put ZSH if you want to. Also you have things like Pamek and Paru pre-installed for easy software installation. You also get a Garuda default browser, FireDragon, as well as their default text editor, Kate. Overall you can see that Garuda creators wanted to make the system as much out of the box as possible so you can just install the system and continue with your life without much configuring. Pretty much like Windows, but much better. Now this is the part of the video where I talk about my own experience using Garuda after a month of usage. I am currently dual booting the KDE Dragonized Gaming Edition and Windows 10 and yeah, you heard it right, even though Garuda does not officially support dual booting, you can actually dual boot it very safely with the same Windows 10. The reason I chose Garuda, and especially the KDE Dragonized Gaming Edition, is because I was tired of working on my laptop instead of my PC, which had only Windows at the time, and I couldn't code and work on Windows. So I chose the Garuda Gaming because I wanted something that would work well with NVIDIA and completely move on from Windows to Linux in gaming and video editing. And actually Garuda is doing pretty well with all of those drivers and software for NVIDIA graphic cards and also it provides an easy drivers installer as well as some other things. 
and the gaming edition made it easier to move with things like Discord, OBS, Steam and Wine and even a dang Minecraft launcher already coming pre-installed so I could easily just install the system and start working on it. Also I chose this specific environment just because of the looks of it. I mean, look at the thing. With those blurry effects, cool icons and jiggly windows, it's just pleasing to look at your system. And if you're scared that your PC won't run that, don't worry, you can turn it all off. I have some of those animations turned off because they kept distracting me all the time. Generally, working on Garuda is a pleasure. I I've tried some game development on it, as well as working on the videos and video editing. And I got to say that the distribution is very responsive and pleasing to use as there is close to no lag when running heavy programs like LibreOffice. In, in comparison, this same PC worked much slower on Windows and even on Manjaro. For a test I actually tried opening things like LibreOffice and different games and they opened very fast, just in span of a few seconds, which is, which is insane. Generally it feels like Windows but more responsive and less laggy because there is a GUI for everything. In terms of gaming, I tried a variety of games here and the system doesn't struggle at all to deal with them. And with the things like Wine pre-installed, it's easy to run games that aren't even made for Linux. To sum up Garuda Linux, it's definitely the Linux distribution I will always have on my PC to replace Windows in gaming and other work that's dependent on my graphics card. If you haven't tried Linux before, I highly suggest you do it right now with this current distribution, as it's great for beginners. And if you've tried Linux before, that's still a cool distribution to experience. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, follow me on GitHub and subscribe for more Linux.